Welcome back to Josiah Plays Batman Arkham Asylum. We're on the trail of Dr. Young. We've got a scan of her recent fingerprints in every tape. And we are following that to determine where she went because we know she accessed her own safe, got her documents out, and is on the run. The Joker's after her too. We gotta get to her and her stuff and her records before he does. So uh, we're tracking her down. I'm going to uh, listen to this interview tape. Patient interview 9. Dr. Crane continues to evade questions. I believe he is quite sane, just evil. He takes no interest in the people he has hurt. His research appears hmm. to be the only motivating factor in his life. What is it about fear that drives your obsession? Fear drives everything, Stephen. Everything. Your life is governed by fear. Every decision you make is a product of that fear. Don't be ridiculous. You married your wife, Margaret, isn't it? Because you were scared of dying alone. You have children because you're scared of leaving nothing behind that really matters. You go to the doctors because you're scared of dying. Do I need to go on? No. I think that will be all for today. Guards? Hmm. I think the Scarecrow is kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean he's kind of a nut job. Let's let's not start saying oh the Scarecrow is totally sane because at some point we have to come up with a definition of sanity that uh, that works. And being a psychopathic like killer is not it's not work. So I'm back out here in the West Wing corridor. This is where she went, following her fingerprints. Oh, okay, so this electronic force field that was here now is now broken apart. Oh, we have a box up ahead. We'll probably have Joker teeth in it. Hello, Joker teeth. Thank you for free experience points. Okay. So, where am I going? Oh, I'm following her trail, right? That's actually where I'm legitimately going. And it didn't go this way. It went this way. And we're out in the West Wing corridor. Was there a puzzle we haven't solved here yet? I don't think so, because it would have... Okay. Where'd she go? She went over there. Alright. Did we already look in this little vestibule here? We did. Okay. So... We'll go this way. And she went in there, back towards the reception. This place looks amazing. I'm just continually impressed with the visuals in this game. Uh oh. So they're uh, admiring my handiwork. I don't like it any more than you do. <laughs> Only two guys, and they don't have guns. Like oh, you poor guys! You're going down. So Zaz is on the loose, killing people, or what? Okay. I still don't understand why I can't solve the puzzle in this hall with the main man thing, and it, it's very clearly Amadeus Arkham, right? But. Alright, let's glide kick on down there. This is awesome. Look how far away I can do that from.
What? That was a little bit sketchy. Oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> nice clown makeup. Clown. So, once again, I'd really like to solve the, this puzzle, but... It just doesn't seem like I can, and I cannot imagine... ...that it's not... ...this guy. But I'm not even getting a... ...a subject partially detected or anything. I mean, is it that skull? No. Alright, we'll forget it then. Try to figure it out later or something. Where's this chick's trail? Alright, well here's a piece of it. Did she go this way? Probably not. Huh? Oh, oh, there was one of her fingerprints. She did go this way. Okay. So she went this way, and... Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Arrest Recognition Award. Commissioner James Gordon, for your outstanding contribution to Arkham Asylum. Maybe this is the puzzle. Yay! I got it. Cool. Glad I found that. Otherwise, I'd have been, like, wondering about it the whole time. What? What's... What? No, I don't... I just wanted to see... I was just hoping I could look at this thing and see... Oh, I guess it doesn't really say anything. There's not like a plaque there with words. Okay. So, she went this way into the south wing. And what's in the south wing? Uh, library and reading room. Okay. Let's check it out. What does a bird need in the rain? Interesting. So we're in the south corridor. We're following her trail. We got a guy with a gun over there. And a guy without a gun. Who's still means to do us harm. We have various stacks of nonsense here. Uh, we have... Some Joker teeth. What's this? Penguin. Uh huh, an umbrella. Penguin umbrella. That's probably the puzzle, right? Solved. Cool. Ooh, bio for the penguin unlocked. Now, I know the penguin is going to be in the next game, Arkham City. And I don't think he's in this game, but he's going to be a major element in the next one, which is pretty cool. So we're going to read the Penguin's bio here in just a second, after we finish scanning the meteor. So we know she went this way. Uh, we're going to break some teeth. Ooh, challenge complete, destroyed 10. Make that 11. Okay, we're going to read that bio right now of the penguin. Starting to really starting to fill this out. There's not that many. Well, there's still quite a few, aren't there? But, okay, penguin. There he is. Look at him. He looks awesome. The penguin, one of Batman's oldest foes, is an eccentric criminal mastermind, known as much for his love of ornithology and trick umbrellas as for his shady business dealings. Gotham's popular Iceberg Lounge serves as Cobblepot's front for a number of illegal financial activities that fund much of the city's underworld. Despite his short stature, the Penguin is a wily foe whose umbrellas conceal a variety of deadly weapons and gadgets. Huh, alright. Pen Penguin's pretty cool. Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot. That's a memorable name. Restaurateur Rocketeer. Uh, and he appeared way back in Detective Comics number 58 in 1941. 
Just a quick check here. Is he... Oh, so he's not as old as, as the Joker, but almost. Uh, and he is a criminal and financial mastermind. Expert in hand-to-hand... -hand, expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant. It seems like every single person in this bio is an expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Driven by a need to prove himself in spite of his comical appearance, and he employs various weapons, many based on umbrellas and birds. The Penguin. Another wacky, zany character. Alright. Moving on here. What's... No idea. Joe <gasps> She looks scared. Maybe she knew what was coming. Maybe. I heard he's brought someone in to deal with it. He's gonna have me. I'd have made a dog. Would have been fun. He said that. I didn't know I could do that. That actually makes the, the fact that there's this cover system act make sense. All this time I thought, well, this corner cover thing is kind of cool, but there's rarely really a point to it. You can throw batarangs around the cover. How amazing is that? The answer, very amazing, uh, in case you were wondering. Well, I'm going to do that, but I just wanted to look around one more time. Oh! <gasps> Look at this, I found another puzzle. But the question is, where's the dot? Ooh, and a breakable wall up here. That's neat. There it is. It'll solved. This fiendish puzzle literally appears out of thin air. Ha! Neat! I like solving puzzles. I like solving the riddles. And I found a, a secret place up here, too. I hope this doesn't alert those goons. Because it was really loud. But I guess they don't really hear that, do they? Alright, we, and we found an Amadeus Arkham Chronicle. My family's killer stood in front of me. Years of therapy have deemed him sane. I was proud to see him walk free. I thought he killed him. In exchange him. for his liberty, the state required only a signature. He talked about wanting to walk in a park. How he longed to <gasps> feel fresh air on his face. And then he took my father's fountain pen and killed my second. Oh my god. As he was subdued, he screamed out, pleading for forgiveness, for pity. But I had none. Yeah. I watched as guards beat him to a stain on the floor. Wow. So we're starting to get some real insight into the into the mental fall of Amadeus Arkham. Because now, so he went through this guy killing his his family, and he like legitimately had compassion and wanted to help him, and tried and had faith that he had helped him and that he had been that he had been cured, and was gonna let him go free, and he was happy for him. So he had all this optimism and idealism and everything, and then this guy turned right around and did another crazy killing, and like it, it's like it it shattered all of his dreams and showed him. You know, oh, your attempts are futile. You really can't cure these guys. You you failed, and he really is still crazy. And that must have been extremely disappointing and disillusioning for Arkham. And that was probably, you know, the real start of his of his descent. Uh, even more so than the killing of his family, because he kind of got over that, and it inspired him to do good things. But this, it seems like it really showed him, maybe that that he couldn't help these people. That's uh, that was a telling, a telling little piece of of the story there, um, that I'm probably the only person who's interested in. But <laughs> I thought it was pretty fascinating. That's all the time we have for this video. Thank you for watching. Josiah plays Batman Arkham Asylum. We'll see you next time.